hello hello and welcome to part two of my research of jewelry brooches i did so much research i couldn't pack it all into the video you saw last week so this is part number two this is brooches that sold for over 599 dollars. there will be none lower on this video some amazing amazing finds some new brands to me so let's go ahead and get started Here we go, here we go. First up, another brand I hadn't heard of. This is Lawrence Verba, VRBA. It might stand for something, not quite sure. Look at the size of this brooch in their hands. Six and a half inches. And they put Beyond Massive, I would have to agree. Glass melon bead. Here you can see on the back, very, very clearly marked Lawrence Verba. And this was a $599 sale absolutely amazing i do want to say because i think there was some confusion on my last research video this is research none of these are mine i have not been lucky enough to find any of these so i am making this video to educate both myself and you so you know these brands to look out for you might want to take a second look because i feel like most of these are gonna be priced higher but if you have enough room to make hundreds of dollars in profit i would pay up all right, next is another Shia Pirelli, Shia Pirelli. My pronunciations, guys, I had tons of comments on the last ones. I'm sorry if I pronunciate it wrong. I try to remember what you guys tell me, but my brain is like on overload 24 hours a day. So this Shia Pirelli signed super rare brooch, absolutely amazing, the long there. Here is the back showing Shia Pirelli. Again, really, really pretty long green and clear rhinestones. $595 sale and then and I do want to point out on some of these some of these titles I would not have done I think they wasted space and while they did sell these items I think I don't know how long they took to sell and I do want to say some of these are auctioned some are buy it now on my screenshots it doesn't say I didn't write it down it took me hours to do this research anyways so I figure 50 50 on auctions buy it now on these so I'm gonna put this one up and show you because they put hearts in this title they put gorgeous nobody's searching for gorgeous I I highly highly doubt it so the hearts the little stars the gorgeous is wasted title space in my opinion this one though it sold for six hundred and ten dollars I'm showing you the back it was not branded it was not branded six hundred and ten dollar sale really great again title not what i would do but it sold the item right here is another stanley Hagler, new york absolutely beautiful brooch again i want to point out four inches these are like palm size brooches they are big this one red pearl brooch pen it's it's absolutely stunning look at it here is the back again it says stanley Hagler, new york city on the back you would be able to read that very easy and it sold for 630 dollars all right this is a brand that i know that i think you all know and at this time i do want to point out to you guys there are fakes there are fakes so if you are not comfortable feeling if it's something is authentic or the quality is not there reach out to somebody who is whether it's another reseller a friend i'm sure there are tons of groups on facebook but if something feels cheap to you and it has a name such as this one which is christian dior question it okay don't don't take it face value that everything is real i will tell you one of my crab brooches that sold for $300 was a Christian Dior. So this Christian Dior 1958 pendant brooch, Aurora Borealis, sold for $631.10. I'm going to tell you because of that odd number, I'm going to assume this one was an auction. So here is the back. It does say Christian Dior on the back. Mine did as well that I sold. A really, really pretty one here with the blue and the Aurora Borealis great sale great name to keep an eye out for but again make sure you're knowing at least enough to feel that it is authentic this is another name 
that I did not know. This one is a Raji Moini. This is a signed purple floral grape. So again with the fruits, again with the fruits, this one sold for $650. Look at this up close. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful work on this brooch. Here is the back that shows that it is signed Araji Moini. Watch out for this name. I'm not sure how common these are, but definitely keep an eye out. All right, I believe we've had some Hobie in our first part of this video. Here is another Hobie. This is a vintage 40s Hobie Jewels of Legendary Splendor Heart. This is Blue Topaz, $649. Here is the back. Again, very, very clearly marked Hobie. That was not a brand I was familiar with until I did this video. Really, really pretty brooch and really high dollar sale. All right. This next one's really eclectic and I like it, but I never would have thought it would sell as high as it did. This one sold for $699. This is an Isabel Canovas, another brand or name I was not familiar with. Heart Charm a Vintage Pin Rare Brooch. Look at how cool this is. And here is the back. You can see very clearly it does say Isabel Canovas. So again, you would be able to look it up. And another thing I want to point out that was down in the comments of my first one, a lot of these name brands are going to have lower dollar items. Do not assume just because that name is there that it's going to sell for high dollar. You need to find the actual brooch or something very, very similar to know that it has this higher dollar value. I have seen some Christian Dior that doesn't sell high and Trifari can go really, really cheap. Coro can go really, really cheap. So it's more the vintage, older, well-made ones that sell for this higher dollar. Speaking of Coro, and I, I didn't know it was a Coro one next. This is a vintage 1940s Pave Blue Moon Glow Brooch Coro Sign Jean Berriccio, Berriccio Enamel. 760 w now really really pretty blue stones really really pretty clear rhinestone sold for 695 dollars here is the back so this one says coro but it also says that Verricchio name and i think that the collaboration is a lot of what made that sell high a lot of the higher dollar ones have designers attached to that brand name so the actual brooches are attributed to a specific designer which makes it higher in value next and i didn't have a picture of the back of this one this is another mazer so this is a signed mazer brothers silver tone baguette really 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 pretty brooch sold for six hundred and ninety nine dollars i showed you some mazer on part one here are some more that are going for more all right another shriner 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 is getting ready to come up because the majority of the high dollar selling brooches were shriner so this one and again look at it in the hand it's like bigger than the palm of your hand rare huge vintage gorgeous rhinestone shriner star flower glass brooch pen seven hundred and ten dollars for a brooch absolutely insane costume brooch at that look at this picture though absolutely stunning brooch here is the back it says shriner new york very very tiny on the top there they did not show a zoomed in picture again if it were me i would definitely zoom in and show these signatures so amazing amazing sale seven hundred and ten dollars next is a jelly belly first jelly belly in this video there were quite a few in part one if you haven't seen part one definitely check out part one that has brooches from 225 dollars up to 5.99 this vintage trifari jelly belly seal blue amazing again with the animals jelly belly sterling vermeil brooch so this is a sterling one here is the back showing the sterling it does have a 32 mark which might be for gold i am not knowledgeable hopefully and last time i do want to say a special thanks real quick to sarsar jewelry who was in the chat with us when my last one premiered full of knowledge full of knowledge and helping us and giving us tips and i am all about you guys sharing information with me if you are more knowledgeable than i am i do not claim to be an expert on jewelry by any means just sharing some of my research Next, another name I did not know. This is Nettie Rosenstein. 
This is an elephant brooch, under three inches. It's sold for $750, $750. Absolutely amazing. Here is the back. It is clearly marked Nettie Rosenstein, so you would be able to know. I, I would not have pegged this one. I would not have picked it out as a $750 brooch, but definitely, again, if they have names on them, look them up when you're out sourcing if they catch your eye. All right, had to put this one in here because vintage Beatles memorabilia can sell for top dollar. I sold a couple of little three inch dolls for well over a hundred dollars. This is two vintage Beatles guitar pens. They sold for $750 for the two of them. Now here on the back, it does say NIMS Entertainment or ENT. So again, $750 guys watch out for Beatles stuff there's a lot of Beatles stuff worth a lot of money next do not have a picture of the back of these wanted to highlight the set again brooch and earrings this Joe Maz cabochon and crystal brooch sold for $750 so watch out for Joe Maz that's another name that's new to me all right this is not signed, but this is an antique portrait brooch cameo, hand-painted Victorian porcelain bird pin. This is something that I would pick up. So here is the back of it showing you. I want you to see the clasp there and really, really pretty. Watch for hand-painted Victorian brooches. Just watch for them. $750 sale. All right. Another miriam haskell brooch oversized three inch really really pretty poured glass sold for 750 dollars i'm so excited because my miriam haskell should be on its way hopefully it'll come in before i leave for camp friday morning hopefully and then i'll be able to share it at camp so this miriam haskell brooch you can see on the back again very very clearly marked there is some unmarked Miriam Haskell and it's actually worth a lot more. I have a book I've been trying to read. It's so much information to take in. So for myself, I am mainly looking for marked Miriam Haskell because I don't feel I've like understood enough knowledge about her unmarked pieces to be able to feel comfortable stating that they are what they are. Another Miriam Haskell. This Miriam Haskell cabochon woven this is a beautiful like Maltese cross shape. It says sign. It sold for $770. Here is the back. You can very, very clearly see it. So again, Miriam Haskell does have some lower selling pieces. I will tell you guys, there are some that do not sell this high, but I would say the majority of Miriam Haskell is going to bring pretty good money. All right. We kind of covered the dogs in the linen video because there were some needlepoint pillows that sold for hundreds of dollars. Well, here is a dog brooch, not marked, that also sold for hundreds. This one sold for $801.82. It was an auction. Antique Victorian enamel bulldog brooch. That's it. Not very much on the title there. But here it is close up, absolutely beautiful. Here is the back. Again, you see the C-Class pen indicating it is older and it sold for $801, absolutely crazy. All right, here's another Eisenberg. This Eisenberg sold for $795. Really pretty, it says multicolored clip accented with rhinestones. Here is the back, you can clearly see Eisenberg on it. Again, check and find similar items. This one, almost $800 on a brooch. Another animal, another trifari, and another jelly belly. Three things, three things in one brooch, right? So this trifari jelly belly frog was attributed to Alfred Philippe. Most of the trifari that I found selling high was attributed to Alfred Philippe. This one is sterling. It sold for $700. $199. Here is the back so that you can see it. There is a number there. And this is just a really, really cool, again, animals, jelly belly, especially adding in sterling, probably going to have some sort of value. Maybe not $800 like this one, but some sort of value. All right. This one, I do not have the back. Do not have the back. 
this is unsigned absolutely now it is it is, they are attributing it to hobie now this is really cool it has got the bandora man filigree brooch unsigned as found sold for eight hundred and seventy five dollars really really cool piece there all right we are getting close to thousand dollar pieces this one here is nine hundred dollars it is a vintage boucher hummingbird again with the birds with the birds two inches tiny little brooch here is the back it is clearly marked boucher again one of my high dollar crabs was a boucher crab so keep your eye out for boucher again with the animals this is another name that I did not know. This one sold for $899. Really stunning though. Really big. Again, the big, the blingy. Watch for that. Okay. This is a vintage Roger Jean Pre Roger Jean Pierre. Large blue rhinestone signed. This is another fur clip. So another thing I did notice is the fur clips were selling high. Here's the back. It says Depose. So keep your eye out for those all right no marking on the back but this is another coro jelly belly i had a coro jelly belly crab this is a coro jelly belly gazelle i okay here's your keywords guys gazelle and paula antelope i don't care what they want to think it is but i'm going to put everything they might and this seller did an amazing job 921 dollars and 10 cents gonna again assume this was an auction sold for 921 10 there was no picture of the back but this is again animal jelly belly all right another carl yagerfield i don't I, i'm mispronouncing this is really cool it's a peapod brooch sold for 950 dollars really really cool here is the back with the kl so you would know to look up now they did not put kl in the title so you would need to somehow figure out that kl meant carl yagerfield how, however you pronounce it you would need to know that so after watching this video you will know otherwise i would search like kl jewelry mark just you can use google to research if you're finding marks on jewelry that you are not familiar with all right we are getting into some crazy high ones and these are going to just blow your mind this eisenberg original ruby art this is a kind of a profile so i would have put like woman profile this is another fur clip this one sold for twelve hundred dollars here is the back i do want to point out like the straight screw i have known and or seen in quite a bit of older jewelry pieces you will see the little straight screw use this does say eisenberg original so that was an absolutely great sale and here is another carl jagerfield blaggerfield this is an asparagus brooch look at this it is a piece of a vegetable um green rare asparagus pen brooch sold for 1200 there again is the kl to know and keep an eye out for there is another eisenberg they unfortunately did not show the back but i wanted to show you this is another fur clip so i saw kind of a repetition of the fur clips selling high at least some of them obviously there are going to be lower ones this one with all the colors absolutely amazing it says it is signed eisenberg again they did not have a picture of that sold for twelve hundred dollars here comes hattie carnegie again and a rooster animals telling you i'm telling you animals so this is a rare large vintage hattie hattie carnegie rooster brooch with a pendant hook so you want to put if these items have that pendant so they can be hung on a necklace as well i would make sure to put that in your description here is the back showing the hattie carnegie this one sold for thirteen hundred and thirteen dollars how amazing is that all right another christian dior and do take note it's from 1960s 1966 1967 this is another brooch and earring set again i love picking up the sets this one sold for fourteen hundred and fifty dollars absolutely insane if you just looked at that and didn't look at the name i don't think i would have picked that up so here's the back showing christian dior and this was made in germany absolutely a great sale and again not something i would have thought would have sold for so much all right 
This next one is George Jensen. This is one of the few sterling silver pieces I put in. This one is a silver dove brooch. It was from 1904 to 1908 with moonstones. It sold for $1,495. Absolutely amazing. It is only an inch and an eighth. Here is the back. It does show 925 for sterling and it does say G Jensen, I believe just to the left of the 925. This is another one that didn't show the back. This is another Marcel Boucher, 1941. Cherries, cherries, fruits, animals, flowers. There's a theme here. There's a theme. This one sold for $1,525. It was marked, but again, the seller did not show that. Look at this amazing vintage Trifari, 1941. Again, attributed to Felipe. This is another fur clip, guys, $1,575. Here is the back showing the Trifari. It also shows the number 44. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's a Trifari trend, <laughs> Trifari trend. This is another fur clip. This fur clip, again, Alfred Felipe. It says Mogul Tree. It was from the 40s, Jewel of India. Here is the back. You can see the Trifari there on the right and that this is a fur clip. Very, very nice. All right, we're getting into some big money now. We're getting into ones that sold for over $2,000 and the first one is corn. Corn. So this is a vintage Trifari. Again, Alfred Philippe. Enamel corn clip brooch, $2,140. Absolutely insane. Here's a close up. It is an ear of corn with some enamel and rhinestones. Here is the back showing the Trifari with the crown. Absolutely insane amount of money for an ear of corn brooch. All right, another signed Shriner. Shriner had tons in the thousands of dollars. I just kind of cherry picked a few because I wanted to show you guys some different brands that were selling. This one says it is signed Shriner New York. Purple, blue, green, filigree dome pendant brooch. It sold for $2,250. Again, seller didn't put a picture of the back. So these items are selling this high, but I again recommend with any piece of jewelry, regardless of the price, you should really show a close up of that signature to show that it is signed strawberries alfred philippe again vintage trifari alfred philippe rhinestone enamel it says violet they didn't even put strawberries in the title that's insane two thousand four hundred ninety two dollars here is the back showing trifari i do want to point out it does say signed it is a felipe but they didn't put strawberries almost $2,500 sale. Absolutely insane. Next is another Boucher piece. It's a Boucher fish. I sold a Boucher crab. It's a Boucher fish. This Marcel Boucher rhinestone fantasy rockfish pen sold for $2,495. Now I'm going to cut in here and tell you before I found my crab brooches, that I made thousands of dollars on, I wouldn't have believed this and I never would have known to look at this stuff. So now that I'm teaching you, look at it, <laughs> look at it. They had no idea. So with the crab brooches I won, that auction company pulled out the sterling and gold, but they didn't research any of the costume jewelry and it was worth thousands of dollars. So don't, don't make the mistake and look over it like that. So, Here's a close up, absolutely beautiful fish. And again, it was marked Marcel Boucher. A Trifari Cabochon bird. This bird, again, Alfred Felipe, it was seen over and over. This one sold for $2,600. Here is the back. You can see the Trifari there in the middle. So you would be able to identify it. I, I, 
some of these are just so incredibly unbelievable but they are out there they are out there for you to find them another shriner so i picked like my favorite shriners that stood out they again did not have a photo of the back this one is amazing like purples and blues and amethyst in the middle and it sold for three thousand two hundred and ten dollars know the name shriner i didn't know it before but i do now all right this is a trifari trifari i was looking to see where dalton was this is a trifari carnation floral brooch insane this was an auction it went to three thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars for this trifari brooch here is a back close-up showing you the trifari mark nothing overly obvious on this absolutely insane sale here is another Shriner. Look at how big the stone is on the middle of this. It, it's giant. So this is another one. They did not show a picture of the back. It sold for $3,519. So if I had to pay like $500 or even $1,000 for something I saw similar like this, I, I would do it. I'm at the point now I can, which is nice, but keep an eye out. Another Trifari Jelly Belly. I want to point out i want to point out something they spelled trifari wrong in this title and it still sold for four thousand two hundred dollars it is a trifari lizard owl and lily brooch so this was not just the one so here's another mistake the seller made they were selling and i mean they sold them right they sold them for 4200 so what's the big deal well they might have sold it faster they might have sold it for more they had four brooches for sale and they only showed one in the front picture that's another pet peeve of mine if you're selling more than one of something show them all all of them in the front picture not just one because if somebody was just scrolling looking at pictures they would have only seen that one brooch not all four there, there he comes out from under the desk so here you can see i took a screenshot of all of their photos there were four brooches for this amount but why did they not put them in a group up as a first photo that just again a pet peeve All right another trifari coming in at forty five hundred dollars this is a willow tree blossoming flower brooch sold for forty five hundred dollars was an auction they only got one bid but guess what? That's all you need. If you do auctions, start it at the lowest amount you are willing to take. Another big Shriner white enamel. This doesn't look overly impressive to me. It does not. Sold for $5,499. Here is the back. You see it is clearly marked Shriner New York. Keep an eye out for those Shriner brooches. All right, we're going up. We're going up, up, up. This next one is at $6,600, $6,600. Shriner, this was a set, the brooch and the earrings. It was an auction. It went up to $6,600 with 32 bids. Absolutely insane. Again, here is a close up of the back of that Shriner New York. We are up to the highest one. Can you guess? Can you guess the make? Did you guess Shriner? If so, you're right. Here is the highest that I researched. This is Shriner New York. Absolutely beautiful purple and blue with the really pretty pink cabochon in the middle. Sold for $6,900 with 10 bids. Another auction, another auction. So here is a close up of the back of that and even closer of the signature. So that is the end of part two. I will be doing a video next week on trinket boxes trinket boxes so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you missed part one of this there is a part one and there is a linen research video so i'm going to start this new series of research videos um, everybody seems to like them and i really enjoy making them and learning about stuff as well so we'll be doing one a week at least so thank you for joining me again don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up check out my channel memberships that just helps to support me in the channel and bring you more videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Happy hump day. I will see you on Friday. Bye guys.